In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to remove bags from under the eyes and take your images from this to this in a matter of minutes. Hi again, Danny Diamond here. You can see more of my work on my Facebook page, Danny Diamond Photography. All right, so here's a headshot I took for the project, and I want to show you the most common ways I've seen people retouch the bags under the eyes, and I want to explain why it never really worked for me. In order to retouch the bags, it's more than just making it lighter. You have to actually replace the tones from a similar area. The way I've seen people do it is using the patch tool. But the patch tool is not only replacing the tones, but also the texture. And you're going to either lose or you're going to smudge the current texture there. Let me show you an example. If you take a look over here, I'm going to turn it on and off a couple times so you can see it. It replaced the pores from this area down here. The clone tool did the same exact thing, but it basically just smudged the old texture because when I used the clone tool, I wasn't doing it at 100% opacity. So it did make it lighter, but we lost our texture. The dodge and burn, the reason why that doesn't work is because you're not replacing the tones, you're just making them lighter and they are different tones than the general area. So a lot of times what will happen is if you dodge it too much, it's going to start turning gray and it's going to completely lose the tones that it had. Now I'm going to tell you the way I do it and why that works. Basically what we're going to be doing is sampling just the tones and we're going to replace the tones that we choose. The way you do it is creating a new curves layer. Make sure you come down to your curves and choose the curve symbol and not the mask. Now we're going to go to the top eyedropper, double click that. We're going to sample from an area that we feel comfortable, I'd say right about there. Click no. And then go to the tones that you want to replace, which is the dark part of the bags. And then go to your mask, invert your mask, select the brush at a somewhere between 10 and 20% opacity, and go ahead and start painting it in. As you can see, all we're doing is replacing the tones with the tones that we had sampled from. So we're not damaging the textures in any way. And this is a pretty uh, easy way to do this. You could take your time to perfect it. Don't worry about doing it too much. You could always just bring back the opacity, uh, bring down the opacity of that adjustment layer. So I'll bring it down to like somewhere around there. Turn it on and off. As you can see, we kept all the textures and we just made it drop lighter. Bring the opacity down a, a little more just to make it look natural. All right, so for the other side, I suggest creating a new curves layer because the tones are not going to be the same on both sides. And go ahead, double click the top eyedropper, sample uh, the tone that you want, and then go ahead and click somewhere on the dark part of the bag. Click on the mask, invert the mask, select your brush, and go ahead and paint that in. I'm not really taking my time, I just wanted to show you guys how I do it. And keep in mind that you're also going to be able to do this for other parts of the skin as well. For example, let's say um, your model has makeup on the face, but the tones don't match the maybe arms or shoulders. You're able to just sample from the face and go ahead and paint it into the shoulders as well. So it, this method could be pretty useful in a lot of different ways other than just the bags. Again, I'm going to bring down the opacity just to make it look natural.
And we're going to go ahead and put these in a group. That's before and after. Alright guys, I hope this uh, helped you out. If you want to see more tutorials in the future, make sure to follow me on my Facebook page. Bye for now.